we in this video we will be looking at the two-sided uh, limits of the function and to use to find them uh, via the one-hand limit of this function at some point. So at the first part of this question we will be looking at the left-hand limit of the function the absolute value of x minus 2 or divided by x minus 2 at the point 2. So we are going to the point 2 from the left and therefore we are dealing only with the point x's which are strictly less than 2. For such points of x's we of course have that x minus 2 is strictly less than 0 and therefore we have that the absolute value of x minus 2 is the same as minus x minus 2. And therefore, substituting these, we will have that these equal to the limit to the point 2 from the left of minus x minus 2 over x minus 2. And of course, x minus 2 cancels out, and therefore we have just the limit x goes to 2 from the left of minus 1. So we have the constant function from the left, and therefore this limit is just minus 1. On the graph, we will be writing something like this. So our function has the value minus 1 from the left, and it goes to in the part B, we will now be looking from on the one hand limit, but now not left hand limit, but right hand limit. So we need to find limit x goes to 2 from the right of the same function x minus 2 over x minus 2. So when we are going from the right, uh, x is strictly larger than 2. And therefore, x minus 2 is strictly larger than 0. It means that the absolute value of x minus 2 is now equal to x minus 2 itself. And therefore, just substituting this in here, we have limit x goes to 2 from the right, x minus 2 over x minus 2, which is of course the limit x goes to 2 from the right of 1, which is equal to 1. So, on the graph we will have the straight line, which, go, which is equal to 1 and goes up to 2 from the right. So, in, now in the part C we need to answer whether the two-sided limit of our original function exists. And to answer this question, we need to recall that if the two-sided two -sided limit exists and they both are equal to the same number, then our two-sided limit exists also and equal to this number. But in our case, we see that the left-hand limit is equal to minus 1. So we have from the left, we have minus 1. And from the right, we have 1, which of, of course are not equal. So we can say that the limit when x goes to 2 of our function does not exist. Which is the final answer for this question?